injured here, 1v1, Green Tooth Gorge, blue side, it's Boom plays a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed, very good offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat and this is some Black Legion on show alongside, or up against I should say, is Cyrus playing an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. I recognize that badge, but I can't place the chapter name, the Torrens or something, or, or something. You can work it out. Boom! With some Chaos Space from Cyrus, with some Tactical Marines, exciting stuff. What are we going to see then? Oh, we're going to see an apoth aggressive apothecary with Sanguine Chainsaws smacking about, heretics, bleeding models, getting his levels up. Or are we going to see one? I don't think he's going to bother with customized Storm Bolt, or really. Can't do much to the Chaos Lord with it. Chaos Lord used to cap the east side. Chaos Space Marines backing away from those Kruk and Bolts tactical Marines. You see the passive health regeneration aura on those Marines, those green hexagons. And Boom decides to just retreat out of there. Doesn't want to risk losing a model, getting too close to losing a model. Heretics, meanwhile, capping. No second Heretic Squad for Boom. Oh, we're going to see double CSM. Chaos Lord chasing down Scouts. Smacking him with his, I think it's 26 DPS, power melee, demon sword, one of the best weapon models in the game. Bit of a shame that it's replaced when you get his others, but it's pretty damn awesome, especially for a default weapon. Looks awesome. It's his late rank unlock though, you don't get it straight away. Triple cap for Cyrus, has double scouts, capping the crap out of stuff. These guys peppering. And these guys capping up the west side, he just can't keep up at the moment, boom, with all this capping. And here comes the Havocs. Now is that to try and force Assault Marines into the game, so he can counter initiate with his Chaos Lord and Heretics. Cyrus, of course, can throw a spanner in the works by getting snipers instead. But that does promote gameplay that's a bit more static. And at the moment he's doing a good job with his scouts running around capping, which makes them good skirmishers with their shotguns and stuff so they can cap alone a bit more reliably they're decapping this fully matured wreck point here boom has to do something about this here are the havocs they have a heavy bolter by default which will suppress infantry targets and these guys suppress instantly lots of courage damage out the gate from their heavy bolter cyrus with devastators of his own Aren't going to stop the Chaos Lord, of course. This guy cannot be suppressed, but it will do a lot of damage as it gets close. He might respond with the Dark Halo and some Heretic Worship to get into combat quickly. Usually works quite well unless there's a lot of stuff focusing him down. Still no upgrades for these scouts. No upgrades for the Apothecary either. Boom. Yeah, he needs to start dropping gens. He's got two up here. And they launch a Heretics. Slightly misplacing their grenade barrage, but it did knock down one of the scouts. And here comes some support, otherwise those scouts would have lost models if they stood there shooting. But Cyrus, obviously knowing that units were coming in, wanted to keep these scouts in place so he can do this and take that wreck point. Really good early play from Cyrus. Just through sheer composition, I think. Boom just hasn't had the units to deal with what Cyrus is bringing. He's got this column of units in the mid holding it and his scouts floating around the west side capping everything up. Devastators will suppress these, no they won't, because they retreated in time. They decap the wreck point though. Boom is staying on his toes, happy to concede the other advantage I suppose and look at this advantage. A double cap, lots of VPs down already. Chaos Lord with nothing. Heretics do have an aspiring champion. The Chaos Marine, pretty decent in melee combat by himself, but he also improves all of his heretics by increasing their health. And there's some Corn Worship ready to run this Chaos Lord perhaps into this Devastator with the Dark Halo up, but he's not purchased it so far. I thought for sure he'd go for the Dark Halo with that Devastator hit in the field, and in fact there it is. 30 power, 120 rec, really good accessory for this guy. Makes him even more of a pain in the ass to deal with early on. Can really hold against entire armies. He's running in without it purchased. 
There he goes, puts it up. And runs in on those Devastators. Can he get a model? He's chasing them down. Heretic's been behind as well. These guys are worshipping a bit too far away. You need to keep your Heretics moving. Move and worship, move and worship. Keep them relevant. But he forces off Cyrus's stuff pretty easily. All made possible by this single piece of war gear just running into those Devastators. Double Devastators made from Cyrus. I don't think it'll be a terrible idea. Blood letters could be a problem in tier 2 though. If he does that, he could get double blood letters and go a bit ballistic. But Energy Heretics are getting some changes next patch. Their auto guns, which the other four members are armed with, are getting their damage increased slightly. So they'll, the squad will do just over 20 DPS piercing. And the missile, the grenade launchers, I should say, are getting their damage reduced slightly as well to compensate. So they're going to be a little bit different. A bit more piercing damage, a bit less grenade damage. We'll see how it pans out. Might help them in straight fire fights with stuff like Guardians or Dire Avengers, I should say, and stuff like Guardsmen. Though I don't, I don't think the slightly less grenade launcher damage will make a difference. So the auto gun buff should help out, especially since those grenades can be dodged. You can't dodge bullets come out of the auto guns. And boom, now holding the center of the map. But look at the edges. All red. All red around the edges. All the way up to here. He's got his Chaos Space Marines back capping with Eternal War. Wants his double heretics in the thick of the action, I think, for that flexibility with worship. Heretics, such an awesome unit. Give you so much. And Cyrus going for a Razorback. 228-500. East side being decapped by heretics was the possibility of always the possibility of seeing a librarian when you have devastators on the field because he helps them out so much at fade off time. In fact, I think it'll be a pretty good purchase here because he can use it to back away from the Chaos Lord as he runs in with that dark halo and then turn instantly set up and shoot him in the face. We do have sniper scouts. Tactical Marines will take this cap, double sniper scouts, in fact. So he can go to town on those habits. He's going to get at least one model there. 223, 496. Here comes the Chaos Lord. Sniper's perhaps wasting a shot on him instead. See that instant suppression from long range from the Havocs. And here's a Razor back tier 2 transport vehicle for Space Marines. Allowed to reinforce and transport allied infantry. Heretics coming in for the flank. But the carry is just standing ready with his heal, but doesn't need to use it as heretics in retreat. How is he going to answer this Razorback? He's going for Plague Marines. No sign of a Laz Cannon or Auto Cannon. He wants to keep the, that suppression on the field, it looks like. Plague Marines on the way. In fact, we do see an Auto Cannon, maybe double Auto Cannons. That is really fun to see. And he can put a Corn Shrine beside them to buff that damage even further. It would be very, very nasty. But those snipers still. So maybe more habits. Not the best idea. Does he have any he doesn't have really have anything to quickly pressure the scouts, especially with that Razorback support. Saris can just duck these guys inside. Was maybe expecting blood letters and or raptors when those scouts hit the field, but he does need to deal with the Razorback, otherwise they'd still just jump in there. Auto Cannon now goes to work. Look at the damage to that Razorback 3 armor. Good grief, that was one volley. Auto Cannon's really have been buffed a lot in Elite. And it's really great to see. Two of get two of them in tandem and you just wreck stuff. Lose the suppression, of course, and lose the straight up anti-vehicle punch of a Laz Cannon, but you get really good damage to all targets with an area of effect. 223. 361. Devastators suppressing the Chaos Space Marines who get their Aspiring Champion. And as you saw there, when the Aspiring Champion popped up, he was not suppressed. So he ran a bit further ahead, which can get your units into trouble when that happens because they get split up. So you need to be careful purchasing squad leaders when your squad is suppressed. But the carry hanging back, we're getting some Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines. We might see some Bloodlust action here because he still has 
the aspiring champion heretics as well. They are worshipping at the moment. Plague Marines, really good synergy with no with a uh, fawn worship, I should say, since you boost their speed, which is their biggest downside when trying to take out vehicles. Here come as Mark of Fawn CSM. And the aspiring champion has a melter pistol, so can do a little bit of work on that Razorback. Raps is of course getting a power fist and a melter pistol on their aspiring champion in the next update, which is going to be awesome to see. Razorback in a bit of trouble, taking rear armor hits from those Markov Thorn CSM from those power melee chain axes. Runs into base though and should be okay. Are these guys still chasing the plague marines? They're not. They're going to back away. Two, two, three, three, twenty. Some more corn worship getting this auto cannon up, as well as these heretics. He turns to bash his power, no attempt to move over here and try and do some stuff. Tier 3 for Cyrus. Boom. I think he's done quite well to keep his heretic bleed down. Plague Marines backing away, these guys perform very well under suppression much like the plague champion they only suffer a 30% speed reduction as opposed to 65% speed reduction which I think is the default for suppression down goes the Razorback they also fire their range weapons at the same rate so they're really good at just standing there and shooting back at suppression or even just moving out of it Devastator's getting away that Razorback went down really fast this auto cannon is awesome. 223, 284. Tactical Marines coming into flank, but they don't want to run into a Spine Champion Heretics. Especially when these guys start leveling up, they can be really painful for Tactical Marines. Playing Marines shrugging off those sniper shots. They have so much hit points, 2,000 of them, in fact. Devastator is setting up against a good pressure from Boom. He's edging forward, setting up his worship, edging forward, setting up his worship. And that Razorback loss was pretty big. And now the Plague Marines set their sights on generators. Don't do a huge amount of DPS these guys to any target. But good generalist damage. And they've made a difference here. I think Cyrus getting a bit too preoccupied with shooting at these guys, trying to get models off them. Since it is always nice to bleed Plague Marine models because they're not cheap to reinforce. There's their explosion on death, knocking back and damaging enemies. He does retreat them out though. Plasma gun up for these tactical marines. Plague Marines are not actually heavy infantry, but it will still damage them quite well and will help to shoot up the Chaos Space Marines, of course. It's a 26 DPS plasma weapon on these guys. I think. To put that in perspective, I think the Tech Marines plasma gun is 37 DPS, so you're not that, that far behind it, just on one member of this squad. And you have Kraken Rounds to, or Kraken Bolt's ability to boost that damage versus heavy infantry even further. There's Malignant Blindness, global ability of the Chaos Lord. Saris is now effectively blind, it reduces the range, the vision range of your units to almost nothing. Heretics are being spotted and it's probably worn off by now. 223, 239. Bit of another time to use it really. Usually usually seen it used just before a big push against a defended area. Cyrus has a predator on the field. Tier 3 for boom. Devastators get away. Mark of Thorn CSM going off those tactical marines. The heal is ready to use though, I think maybe not. In fact, I don't think it was. Tactical Marines losing a model. Good aggressive pushes with these Curse Space Marines. And take out a scout model, but they are forced off themselves. 223. 2239, I should say. Curse Lord coming west side to decap. Does it have any walk in this guy? No, only the Dark Halo still. Lots of stuff back at base for Boom. Maybe he should switch up and pressure this west side a bit. Then he can maybe use a floating heritage squad to ninja mid if he can get his attention away from mid. More generators going up for Sarius. Good grief, he has five up now. Dark Halo allows him to cap quite easily under Predator Tank Fire and he finishes it. Two to one now. Havoc setting up. Still nothing really. 
to put quick pressure on his scouts, but he's taking range damage there. He's the back way. In fact, he needed to use a heal on his scouts there. Takes out a plague marine with a double sniper volley. There's a grenade barrage, and here comes that water gun. And look at the damage it does to that apothecary. Back to way. This guy's still level one. Chaos Lord level two. Land Raider Phobos on the way for boom. Chaos Space Marine goes down. He's using these guys to lead the line and draw fire. But didn't have his Havocs in position to back them up with some damage there. Plague Marines snaring that Predator, of course, with each shot. And Tactical Marines now have their Sergeant Bolt Pistol and Chainsaw. His Bolt Pistol actually does more damage than the other members' Bolters. So he's does really add to the squad in ranged combat, not just melee, but makes them a lot better in melee combat because that guy can do special attacks and stuff. 2-2-3-2-1-2. Gives them a really good ability, of course, as well. 1-1. to one. Chaos Sword says, get the heck off of my VP. But he's forced off. Vengeance rounds up 40 Devastators advanced targeting. Increased damage to all targets for the duration, but they can no longer suppress. You can use it to suppress something that gets close and be pretty nasty with it. Double Scout's repairing. He needs to take this VP pretty sharpish. He's using an apothecary to do so, is he? I'm not sure he's having parting trouble. Where's the bash power? Apothecary cannot get past this Predator tank to cap. There we go. He might get a triple here, Cyrus. Another Predator tank on the way, and here is the Land Raider Phobos Twin Linked. Last cannons on the side sponsors, twin linked heavy bolter on top, and the dirge caster ability only has I say only, but it's low for a land raider, only has 2,000 hit points though. And double last cannon predators will put a lot of pressure on a Phobos. This one gets extra armor. This one already has it, but they don't have their last cannons. And now he spotted the Phobos. There's some corn worship, which works well for your Phobos. Since land raiders are all slow. Look at the damage it's taken already though. 181, 212, Scout Squad disintegrated there. You cannot get rear armor hits on a Land Raider. Double cap for Cyrus. Is he capping here? Boom, he's not. He wants to decisively win this engagement first, I think. Using the Phobos to bully things, but that's now a Land Raider Predator. And look at the damage to this Phobos. Getting very close to going down. He might finish it off if he pushes. Yes. Plague Marines helping out there, not sure what got the last hit, but now the Phobos can be repaired. It needs a lot of repairs. That's going to take a while, even for double heretics. 143212. Chaos Thord might want to get his Armory Inferno up to disrupt these Devastators and his Tactical Marines who stand around shooting at his stuff. Might be able to hit those scouts if he's lucky, but these guys need to repair. That might be a game winning engagement for Boom. Took out a tank. Retains his Phobos. Plague Marine is taking mid. 131, 212. Still has his Mark of Corn CSM level 2. Have done reasonably well, I think, throwing fire and scaring things around. Mucking up Cyrus's position in a few times. Look at the auto cannon on those Devastators. Now switches to the Tactical Marines who go to town with that Kraken Bolts plasma gun. Look at that. He might wipe those. Havocs almost did if it wasn't for that grenade barrage. I think he might have wiped them. He needs some las cannons up, Mr. Cyrus, or some terminators with cyclone missile launchers or something. He's almost got the power for terminators. 131202. Got the carry forced off there. Horn Marie's doing really well pushing him back. And Phobos back to repairs. Plague Marines to three models, keeping the pressure on here. Predator Tank does not want to push forward with those Plague Marines there. East side is still blue. Two to one. Can he do anything here, Cyrus? He's got a Las Cannon and Vengeance Rounds and the Predator Tank. Is it going to be enough to deal with the Phobos? With everything else around, with those Corn Marines running in especially. If he has Vengeance Rounds active, he's not going to be suppressing them. 131, 174. Yes, I was just about to say, maybe we should get the Power Axe and try to counter initiate 
those poor marines with it a little bit. He's gone for it. He's also got purification rights which will help. Here come heretics. Or are they trying to repair? They are losing models left and right is what they're doing. There's the dirge cast. Look at that area of effects done. Huge range on this thing. Also gives you a debuff. As you can see those red circles, they will do less damage for it's quite a long time. As you can see, it lasted about 15 seconds in all, I think. 131, 154, blood letters. Blood sacrifice spawned in from the heretics, which were lost. But blood letters taken out. Wow, two of the devastators. Really good call in there on those blood letters. And here's going to be a triple cap for Boom. Corn does not care about capping stuff. Look at this. Just kill everything. Havoc's now level 2. This Phobos has been used really well. This hasn't quite had enough. He's been reluctant to switch to the missile launcher. He's got a lot of resources. Maybe get some assault marines up. Your only real threat is these Mark of Corn guys, and you do have an apothecary to support them with. That Melter Bomb will also help. Versus the Land Raider boy has gone for the Terminators. Needs to wait a while to have the resources to purchase the Cyclone Missile Launcher, which I assume is what he's going to go for because it does a lot of damage to Land Raiders since they're so big and fat. Down goes the Chaos Lord. Hit by a LAS Cannon, I think, was that? Yeah. From way back here. That's nuts. What are the chances of that? LAS Cannon has very low chance to hit infantry. It is slightly higher against the Chaos Lord since he's a medium sized target and not small. But still, not a very good chance. Now Space Marines getting absolutely wrecked trying to get close here. Boom. Can't let that oddity break his concentration. Down goes the Predator tank. 131, 35, 2 to 1 steal for Boom. He is going to hold on here. You would think Terminator is just coming too late to have an impact. Might be able to teleport them in and power fist this thing down. Storm Bolters as well, of course, on these guys. They don't like LAS Cannons though, Terminators get hit by LAS Cannons as if they are vehicles, they are large targets. So they will hit every time. 13119, 2 to 1 cap. Mark of Corn Havertz continuing to bully those Devastators from range. But now they're suppressed and taking shots from Sniper Scouts. Terminators forcing off the Heretics and Havertz do get away. Can he cap mid here, Cyrus? Terminators are there. Here comes Scouts to cap, or try to. Chaos Lord, in fact, does have Armory Inferno and Lightning Claws on the way. There is Let the Galaxy Burn doing a good job. Oh no, Scouts might kill them, in fact. In fact, it doesn't matter. There's a 2 to 1 was getting Lightning Claws to go to town on those Terminators, I think. When you get a chance. Only level 3, and a level 3 Apothecary as well, who at the end had Armory Purity, Purification Rights, and the Anointed Power Axe. Interesting game. Slow start from Boom, opting to get that Havoc out quickly. And then following up with some more late heretics. But he edged back in. Some really good play in the mid from him. Positioning himself further and further forward. Cyrus, that predator tank loss was huge, wasn't it? Really turned the game for Boom. So I don't think Cyrus was expecting a Phobos at all. I certainly wasn't. But here we have it. Did really well for him. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.